Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and help! Look, we have this guy just standing here in the back of my picture. What do I do now? Well, in this version of Photoshop Elements, we are going to use the Impressionist brush to get rid of all those unwanted things in the background. Now, I'm using this great photo from Frank Kovalchuk. He's also known as the Alaskan dude on Flickr. I'm using his picture under the Creative Commons license. Let's turn off this invisibility layer and show you what I did here. I used the Impressionist brush to give it this nice stained glass Impressionist look to it. Let's turn this back on for a second. Now what we're going to do is we're going to break this tutorial up into two different parts. The first one is separating her from the background and the second is converting this background into the Impressionist background. So first thing that we're going to do is what? Of course, the Commander Control J. It's going to duplicate our layer right there, and it's going to make a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and turn my top layer off right there for a second, and then show you how to use the Quick Selection tool. Now, make sure that you're on the Quick Selection tool and not the Selection Brush tool. We'll be using that a little bit later. Here's the Quick Selection tool, and once you're on the Quick Selection tool, there's three different buttons up at the top left. The first one is New Selection, Add to and subtract to selection. Now we're going to be using all three of those. Make sure that your brush is sufficient size to go ahead and select her and her arms without any of the background. So I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to select her. Now you'll notice that some of the areas it's going to pick up because there's not that much of a difference like this white area from her white shirt. There's not that much difference in the color so it's going to have a hard time distinguishing where she ends and the other things begin. But it does a really great job on her blue skirt right over here. Doesn't do such a good job on the skin tones as you can see there. And then if I go over into her other arm you can see that it does, doesn't do a very good job at all. And then when it gets to her hair it's so similar to these areas over here. So we need to take the minus or subtract to selection right here, this icon, and we're going to do our best to just kind of dab and stroke a little bit here and there, hoping that it's going to pick up the color and not her. And so far it's doing a pretty good job just kind of clicking here and there. You can see there's a little bit of stragglers right there, but we're going to fix them a little bit later. As you can see, it's doing a fair job right here. I'm going to go ahead and try and do that right next to this white area. And last but not least, the piece in between her arms right there. Now, I did a fairly good job right there, but as you can see, we can clean up a lot of this area. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the Polygon Lasso tool. If you click this, you'll notice that there are also some icons right there. There's some intersect, subtract, and add to selection. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to subtract from our selection right there, these areas where her arm is right there. Okay, the trick for the Polygon Lasso tool is to make lots of selections or dots. When you're clicking on it, just click it every so often. I'm going to go ahead and make a circle there, and as you can see, it subtracted from my selection. So I'm just going to do that. And then once you're done, just kind of make a wide circle around the area that you want to subtract and it'll go ahead and clean that area up. As you can see, this is a big area. I'm going to click on this right here. I'm going to kind of stretch it along her arm right in here. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to make sure that I have a nice wide circle around it. I'm going to finish off the circle and as you can see, it's just going to mainly clean that area up. So I'm just going to keep doing that right here until we are done. Now the next thing that you can do is, is that if you want to get really close with some of the hair and things like that, we can go over to our selection brush tool this time. You notice I mentioned that before. And this time we're going to come over and we're going to use the mask tool. And as you can see, once again, there's a subtract to and there's an add to selection and what you can do is if you wanted to kind of paint around her hair right in there with a brush or clean this area up right in here you can do that with a brush this is just like the full version of Photoshop masking tool they kind of hit it in this thing right over here under the mask I'm gonna go ahead and take that back to selection 
The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to refine your selection. So just click on any one of these marquee type tools and then go under refine edge. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to feather it just a little bit, smooth it out, and then either ex, uh, contract or expand this thing. Let me go ahead and show you on the black right here. You can see that that's pretty good, but I have a little bit of area that I need to clean up right there. So let me hit cancel for a second. And then I need to come over here. This one, I'm going to use the masking tool right here. And I'm going to try to clean up her arm right there. Let me go ahead and take this off the mask selection. Take that back to the polygon lasso. And then do a refined edge again. And let's go ahead and see how I did. Uh, pretty good right there. Except I'm going to contract mine just a little bit bring that in just a little bit closer got my feather and I've got my smooth now once I'm done with that I'm gonna select OK and then the marching ants will be surrounding her the next thing I want to do is I want to go over here under the layer mask and I wanna mask her so that the background is completely separate from her and let me go ahead and show you by turning these layers off she is completely separated from the background now the next thing that we want to do is we want to be on our background layer now on mine, I have two background layers because I started this beforehand, so I have an extra copy right there. But on yours, it will be the background layer. We're going to select the Impressionist brush, and as you can see, there are some um, different options right here. If you put your brush on here, I want to make sure that you get a brush just a little bit bigger than the person's eye. So whatever you have to do, use the right and left bracket tools over there and make the brush bigger and smaller until you get one that's a little bit bigger than the person's eye. Then we're going to click on this impression brush right here and we're going to choose tight short. There are some other ones but the tight short seems to get the best. Now you notice that I have a size of about 80 so what you want to do is that where it says area you want to pick a pixel density that or a pixel diameter that's a little bit less than the size of the brush you chose. So right over here, the 80 pixels is a little bit bigger than her eye, and then I've picked 50 pixels as the area for our diameter. And next thing that we're going to do is we are going to start clicking on the photo, and what you're going to do is you're going to pay particular attention to the areas where there might be a person that you want to get rid of. So as you can see, I've kind of zoomed in and I've gotten rid of this particular person right there. Now the rest I can kind of lightly cover. The harder that you press or the longer that you press in here, the more that it changes. So I just want to have an, a light dabble of the paint right in here and just kind of fix that. And then you're going to end up with something similar to this. Let me go ahead and hit Command-0 so that you can see the whole photo there. What's really nice about this photo is, is it's got a lot of nice colors here but those colors do not distract from our model. Hopefully you learned something. We've separated a person from the background and we've also gotten rid of that distracting, unwanted background and we've kind of beautified it using the Impressionist brush. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. And what's new is, is once you're finished with these photos, I now have a Facebook community page where you can upload all of your work so that other people can see it. Just stop by. I have the link in my description. Cheers.